Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I don't have a plan. I just know that I'm going to the beach. What beach? I don't know that either. It was a long week of work. It was my first full week of work. There's a lot going on, so I just didn't really take the time to plan the weekend. I just figured oh, I'll just wing it like I do with everything. So that's what we're doing. I'm just packing everything that I think I might maybe need today and we're gonna roll with it and make it work. I'm gonna get this stuff packed up and then I'll tell you guys a little bit more of what I'm actually thinking. Rollerblades, why not? Now, of course, all of this packing and whatnot could be for nothing because I could just decide to come home after hitting the beach. But again, we shall see. Let's get this party started. All right, we out. It's hot today, as it is every day in Florida. Now we're ready to go. All right, first stop on our adventure to the beach is we're gonna stop and get ice. Luckily, I live in an RV resort right now, and they've got free ice. Stay. Nope, it didn't stay. I backtracked and changed outfits because it's freaking hot. But now we've got our ice, so I'm gonna hit Walmart on the way out of here to get some fuel. Excuse me, bird. Oh shoot! We need to get gas. We need to do that too. Yeah, so since I moved to Florida, I'm kind of on this mission to find the best beach in the state. The perfect beach to me has to check some key boxes, including an easy parking situation. I don't want it to be too crowded, and of course, I want that beautiful white sand and clear waters. I gotta say, I'm pretty stoked about the beach I chose for this weekend, so stay tuned. Walmart is not the place you want to be on a Saturday morning. Anyway, we are officially on the road to the beach. It is about a two hour drive. Yeah, buckle up your seatbelts, let's freaking go. I'm ready to be at the freaking beach. All right, y'all, let's talk. If you're new to the channel, what's up? My name is Kelly, well, thanks for being here. And my life's been kind of crazy this year. I've been all over the place. Before moving to Florida, I lived in my van for a few weeks. I told myself at the beginning of the year I wanted to live in Florida a little bit this year, so I found a contract out here. I'm living in Central Florida, so I'm just a couple hours from literally whatever beach I want to go to. So today I found Lido Beach. It is above Siesta Key, like in the on the next island over. I want just kind of a nice serene beach experience. And so I did a lot of research because there's like 3 billion beaches in Florida, right? So I found this beach. It looks pretty nice. 
The main thing I was looking for when I was searching for beaches was parking. Parking is a nightmare trying to get to beaches. As far as where I'm staying tonight, I have some options or things floating around in my head. I might go to this campground that's kind of close by or I might just drive home or I might just splurge and get a hotel. But I don't know because uh, I just spent like 60 bucks and I didn't have before I even left town. So uh, life is expensive these days, dude. So yeah, anyway, I've been in Florida for, I guess this is for three weeks now. It, it doesn't even seem possible, but I drove down one week and worked for three days. And then I flew to Virginia to go to James's brother's wedding. Um, works crazy. Um, all travel contracts are just kind of expected going in. Monday is probably going to be the craziest day of this contract. I decided this weekend I need to just chill. I had this whole extravagant kayak adventure plan and I was like, no, nope, this ain't the weekend. I got to be ready to go when it comes Monday. <laughs> biggest turtle on the side of the road. He's like trying to cross. I hope he doesn't. Oh, poor buddy. This is my first solo adventure in a while. I'm kind of excited to just do a little solo trip since it's been so long. Alright y'all, we're at Lido Beach. This is the north entrance. The parking lot. So wonderfully accessible. Oh, and it's so wonderfully not crowded. Ah, I'm so happy. Look at this. Head to the yes. This is so nice. Oh, the water feels so good. I'm just gonna chill here for a little while and soak in this wonderful weather. It feels so good in the water. I don't know, maybe a little bit later we walk into town and see about getting some food or something. Who knows?
Cholula. My little creation. I got some uh, like chili lime seasoning that I'll sprinkle on it. After I walk this beach, I'm going to go walk around downtown and maybe get a bite to eat. Look how perfect this is. This part of the beach is very desolate. I'll show y'all. No one over here. This is so nice. Wow. There's so many good shows. There's hardly anybody here, so they're just all Here's the end of the beach. Let's go get some food. I'm hungry. I am covered in sand. So I'm gonna walk down and try to find somewhere to rinse my feet off. I am so sunburned. It's not even funny. Oh my gosh, this is gonna hurt tomorrow. I am so brain dead right now because I have not hardly eaten anything all day. So I gotta fix that. It is 95 degrees right now. And where I was going to, or was thinking about camping tonight is even if it's hotter than this. So I think I'm just gonna go home. I should have planned better. Maybe camping would have worked. But I threw a bunch of stuff in my car and then as I got halfway down the road, I realized, oh, I forgot this, I forgot that. I also can't make decisions when I'm hungry and tired. So I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and figure out what to do. I'm gonna call James and ask him what to do. Rico's Pizza Pie was amazing. Highly recommend if you go to Ludo Beach. As you can see, I decided not to camp in this episode, but stay tuned to see where I camp in upcoming episodes. If you know any cool spots in Florida to camp, let me know. Hopefully, it will start to cool down soon. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.